Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how can we move to nth child element using XPath? Let me answer. In XPath expressions, we have a concept known as index. Using index, we can move to the or locate the nth child of an element. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll open the browser and take you to some sample application. Okay, so once I go to this sample application URL, so let me locate this uh, something like this, inspect this, and uh, let me locate this entire section where this uh, different hyperlinks are available. So this is an element and uh, you know, this is a due tag, which has an ID, I'll copy this ID and create an XPath expression, double slash due, and great ID is equal to give that ID. Now it's locating this entire section having this hyperlinks, right? So this due section, okay? Now I locate the, in order to locate this uh, element separately and all, okay? First element, second element, third element, fourth element, fifth element, okay? Nth element I want to locate for that. What I will do here is under this div, one more div is there. So I'll say slash div. I went here. Under that ul is there, slash ul I'll say. I went here. Under that slash li. Total five elements got located. You see one of five is coming here. Okay, with this XPath expression, total five elements are getting located. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five are getting located. Total five elements with this XPath expression. I want to locate only the n, for example, third element. So here, beside this L, Li, I have to provide a square bracket and give the index. Okay, which which element? Nth element. N means here three, let's say, third element. Okay, Li of three. It will locate the third link. You see, this is getting located. You see, test wisely is getting located on the UI. If I want to locate the fourth element, four, I'll give li index four, this index value. Okay, next part I'm giving index four. Press enter, you see, jQuery UI is getting located. Fourth element is getting located. If I give one, first one is getting located. If I give two here, second one is getting located. If I give five here, fifth one is getting located. You see, the automation test, automated tester is getting located. So hope guys, you understood how can we locate the nth child element using XPath with the help of index that I have shown or practically demonstrated in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.